So, um, thank you very much for being here today, and thank you the organizer for giving me a chance to come here and speak about our project Pocket Science Lab. I'm going to pass this uh, device around so you can take a look at the device. <laughs> it's okay, Mr. Daya. I prepared some notes so make it easier because I got notebooks in so many people here. <laughs> uh, so my name is uh, Hong Phu Tang. I come, I come from Vietnam. Uh, I'm one of the contributor of uh, Force Asia. What is Force Asia? Force Asia is um, an open source developer community that based in Asia. We try to get more uh, Asian uh, contributors to various open source projects. And um, our idea is that to uh, foster the collaboration and um, create idea and application to improve people's lives through open technology. The organization started in 2009. Um, these are some of the uh, projects developed by Force Asia. So since the start, we mostly focus on uh, software, but why now we are doing hardware? So I want to, I would uh, tell the story um, in a bit. So, um, how do I say that? So, um, every year at the Force Asia, we organize one event similar to Force Them uh, to get people together and work on projects. In 2014, there was a Force Asia event in Phnom Penh. That's when I met this person, Ravin Patel. He is a business teacher from, from India, from a very small town called uh, Belgaum. It was also his first time travel outside of, of India. He came to Fort Asia to talk about um, how to teach students um, uh, Python in his country. And um, he, uh, he, he, he taught it and said that it's really challenging uh, in terms of um, science subject because students never get a, a hold of uh, a device. For instance, an oscilloscope, the whole school only have one in the lab. Uh, they basically learn from theory, but they don't have a hand-on. And they, he come to us and say, okay, so is there any solution out there that could help the student to understand better how to work with uh, electronics? And, uh, and as we, uh, a community, we try to foster the education and we, we make the commitment to, uh, to private and say, okay, so we will check around to see if somebody already doing something out there around the world and we can collaborate and bring this into school in India. A year later, Ravin came to Earth and showed us something called the C Laplet. So the C Laplet also a very small device, uh, like a mini uh, a laboratory uh, to measure um, electric um, wave and, and many other uh, functions. Um, uh, so Ravin told us, so is it possible to um, promote it? Now they have like basic function, but it's not like entirely optimized for uh, for le for learner. So they are the for, uh, so they asked that if the Force Asia community can help to extend the the device, and that time um, uh, the device is a, a closed source device, and at Force Asia we only want to um, uh, release um, open source uh, project. Uh, so several months of discussion from the original uh, C Laplace, there was uh, a developer called Sheet In, uh, a student, electric, uh, electronic student from India working on this project, and we spent several weeks to convince him that, okay, so if you want uh, the community to help and contribute, you, uh, you should open the uh, schematics of the device. And then at one point, uh, Sheet In agreed that uh, he will open the schematic and push everything on uh, GitHub so that people can collaborate and work on this project. And then after the device is open, that give more people opportunity to look into it, then we come, and this is the first version of something that made from by the community based on the C Laplet. Um, the first version of the BS Lab has the form of the Arena Uno. Uh, the reason why we, uh, we chose to do it in this form because we want to make use of the existing case in the market. So you only build the board uh, <coughs> and get the case out there. Uh, so uh, we produce, I think, about 200 of this uh, pocket science lab uh, uh, and to try to distribute and get feedback from, from the people. 
Uh, in 2017, we bring this device to um, the CCC, uh, and some people recommended us that uh, we should not mount different components on two sides of the board, but gather have everything on one side, which is, uh, can uh, uh, reduce the cost to 20, uh, 25%. Uh, so we did that, and we redesigned the board the, the second the second time. And this time, we followed the Reno Mega form again with the power button to use the case. Uh, and uh, in the, at this time, we implement Bluetooth and Wi-Fi module, and also enhance some of the um, thing that you see on the board on the, on the back hand side. You can see the description of the pin, and uh, we also include more um, four more digital pins. And right now, uh, so this is just a recap of the development so far of the BS lab. So it comes from the C lab lab and then uh, Pocket Science lab hardware and then different clients that we built uh, from the community, BS lab, desktop, Android, and uh, web app. And right now, this is something that we having. I, I, I think that I forgot um, in the beginning uh, what is the usage of this device. I've been talking about the history. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so basically, um, it is a four-channel oscilloscope. It's a combination of the oscilloscope, a log logic analyzer, um, multimeter. It also comes with a power source. So everything in one device. So include different instrument. How you can uh, run the device? You just need a USB uh, connector to plug into your uh, phone. So we develop an open source uh, Android application that have you to, that have to control the device, um, and it also have a Python desktop app. Um, uh, is it uh, is it clear enough? Um, yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so so basically, um, that's how it's looked right now. So if you um, the application available on Android and also on Android, uh, it's when you open it, you will see different uh, function and and feature that you that that, that, that you can uh, place around with. Um, this is um, the interface of the Android app. How it look like? So we just got inspired by the traditional uh, device and have we, we we try to make the interface very close to the real oscilloscope. Uh, there also is power source and multimeter logic analyzer wave generator, and this is something that I really like about the device. Even though I don't have an electronic background, um, when you open uh, an instrument. Uh, at the end, there is a button that, 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 that uh, indicates documentation. So the, the team actually integrate the guide how, how to use the device into the application. So when you click on it, it will show you what is oscilloscope and what you can do with it. So this is really optimized for young students and beginners who want to learn electronics. Uh, the desktop app. Uh, it looks a little bit less more than, than, the, than the Android one. Uh, we also have a number of people working on it, but it's, uh, 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 it seems that um, um, it needs like, to, to improve more of the interface. And right now, this is the combination of all the functionalities of the device. Uh, to summarize again, because I did not explain it clearly in the beginning. Um, Another thing that you can uh, do with the device, there's, uh, you can see there are a lot of um, available pins that you can uh, that, that you can insert sensor to measure data. S one of the use case is that uh, in the classroom, the student tend to measure um, uh, the temperature. So this is something that we do: temperature uh, sensor and uh, humidity sensor uh, for uh, uh, chemistry um, classes. And most of the sensor that you use with the Arduino, it also work on the uh, BS lab. And if something, if you find a sensor that not c compatible, the firmware is open, so you can actually write a plug in for it yourself. Um, yes, uh, this is a little bit about the software stack of the device. Uh, it is a Python library. We have uh, a desktop app. Uh, also, uh, the Android, as I mentioned earlier, all of these uh, 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 technology sets, you can find it on the GitHub of Force Asia. 
and the firmware um, is also available there if you want to check it out. And this is a little bit more about the specification of the device. And for Daniel uh, oscilloscope, and two million uh, sample uh, per second, uh, trail width of four meter with the programmable gain. Uh, it also have uh, 12 bit programmable voltage source, uh, sources and um, uh, you can see the logic an analyzer for megahertz um, and a few other things uh, they also have the um, capability to measure um, capacitance <coughs> oh, I think this is this waveform generators uh, this is a little bit more specific about this particular instrument. I think this is already... And uh, BS Lab also has several uh, trail bit um, analog inputs with function as a volumeter, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, and if you are interested, uh, this is the, vo uh, the voltage and the current source. Uh, up to minus and plus five volt, where they three um, uh, three different controllers. Um, now a little bit about the production of the device. Uh, we produce this uh, in China in Shenzhen, and uh, we also work with the Fraunhofer Institute in Germany to um, produce this device. Two months ago, we started the first batch, and we produce one thousand of those. Um, and uh, this is some of the picture of what happened uh, in China when you, when we uh, meet the um, producer. So I'm I'm just gonna I did not go there, but my colleague went there. Unfortunately, cannot be here today to explain. So I speak on his behalf. So I will share a little bit about uh, the lesson learned from China. If you ever want to go to Shenzhen and do some kind of manufacturer for your for your product. So if you, uh, when you find on Alibaba, the alerts of supplier, and if you want to produce something, they always ask you for the bomb. I guess everyone here already know the piece of material, and it took us a lot of time to um, uh, uh, to design this document. And uh, when the, you have different components that you want to uh, to make the device, so the supplier will give you uh, different supplier give a lot of different code. So sometimes, even a small component, the price difference is really big. And uh, if you don't speak Chinese, you, it's very difficult to find out why it's such a big difference in the price. And they told us that if you order the parts from the reels or from the tooth, it's also um, uh, have an impact on the price uh, to, to, to order. And then, um, uh, for instance, if you plan to roll out the, uh, the, the product in January and in February, some of the component, because the person who assemble the product actually do not have the component themselves, they have to order from another supplier. So you need to, uh, to plan with them in advance. Sometimes some component only come like five or four months later. So if you want the component right away the next month, the price could be four, four or five times more expensive. Um, and then they also recommend that you use something that called remanufacturer component. Anyone knows what is remanufacturer component? Yes. Yes, yes, exactly. So re uh, somebody uh, uh, order and then return and then re reorder again. I think in the yes they call it refurbished. Something like that? Yeah, refurbished. Mm -hmm. So in, in China, the um, producer, we call it remanufacturer. Yeah, and then another thing that we experience is the micro um, USB heater does not fit into the uh, uh, PCB, and uh, we have to, you know, we, we order only 1,000, uh, right now 1,000 device, but every single device we need to have a person there to test everything, so it's really a lot of work. If you just order online and you don't have anyone actually live in China and check every single thing, it could be uh, quite costly to produce something because you're not sure what are the percentage of the device that could be uh, workable at the end. And then, uh, so, because uh, my colleague is there, so we find out that several female bean heaters uh, were not 
so they stray. So we have to ask them to do it again. And it's also, it takes a lot of uh, efforts. And there are also BS lab um, didn't work due to reflash um, problem or some uh, faulty of the parts. So right now for the first 1000, we test everything one by one. Yeah, uh, but we learned recently there is um, a auto, there is a better way to, to test uh, the mass uh, production uh, uh, product. Uh, uh, if you look for Bunny Huang uh, test uh, mass production, you will see a very uh, good article that he explained uh, everything about testing. So uh, for the next batch of, uh, of production, we're going to follow uh, this guy <laughs> to this uh, guy that he uh, outlined there. Uh, we work very closely to, to, the, um, to the producer. Um, some producer, they don't have the test, how do you say, the test case, so the automatic test. So, uh, but it depends. So if you want to go to somebody very professional, they might have it, but because your, this board is cut, customized, so they need to also customize another board for you to test the entire device. So um, it took a lot of time to convince them, and hopefully for the next one week, we can have the automatic test case for this. This is a picture, uh, just a faulty part that they can there. Uh, Yes, so, uh, and a few other things that we learned, don't always go for the cheapest option uh, because it might have some problem. And But if some component that you think that it's not so um, uh, crucial to, um, to the function of the device, there is Chinese uh, branded uh, the, uh, component that you can replace instead of some well-known uh, component. And uh, before you go to China, please take a look at the uh, national holidays. For instance, right now is public holiday, so they're going to have uh, uh, 10 days off. And if you decided that you go there at that time, you're not going not to be able um, to meet anyone. Um, and again, uh, so um, we did not plan for the extra charge of uh, production. For instance, uh, uh, when they sold, I don't know. Uh, how do I say this? Um, so even though you give them the view of material already in the beginning and everything agree upon the side of the agreement, later on they will say that, okay, so because it's a little bit more complicated if you want to change a little bit. So so during the divide the war, we decided, okay, so maybe this um, uh, connector, we move it a little bit on the, the left-hand side so that we have more space for other pins. And because it's slightly different than what we agreed in the beginning, they said that they need to charge us extra for this. Yeah, so uh, the best would be uh, to have one or two already that uh, test and then after, after the side of contract, but whenever you want to change the bomb, there will be uh, an extra cost involved. What next with the, uh, what next with the pocket sign lab? Uh, uh, we actually been um, distributed to school in Singapore and India. It's now being uh, pilot in Denman High School and ITE in Singapore for, for, for the student. And uh, what is missing right now, we, uh, we work together with the teachers on a more tutorial. And uh, we also have our um, uh, developer to go out and give workshop to show people actually how to work with the device. If you really have the, uh, the, the knowledge, like you are the developer and, and hobbyist, it's easy for, for you, but for the student, uh, needs a more detailed guides and tutorials um, to have them uh, getting starting with. And uh, so the reason why we are here today, because we hope to get feedback of you. I believe that you all here have more knowledge than me and also expert in the field. That's why you are here in this uh, 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 hardware room. So uh, we hope that you can check out the device and look at the um, uh, uh, um, technology stack and help us to give advice for us how we can make it better. So our goal is to make um, uh, the, this device portable and more affordable for a wider uh, population uh, in Asia and everywhere. So if you have uh, that we have a lot of uh, young students to learn electronics, everything that we do available on the GitHub of Force Asia and the, the, the main communi communication channel of 
this project is on GitHub. So if you go you go there, there are always like people on the channel who can answer a question. And another thing that we're looking into right now, so we need a lot of help to improve the desktop application. The Android is working well because a lot of young people in India and everywhere, they like to work on Android. But the desktop is a little bit slow. We have an upgrade um, to, uh, so we wanted to upgrade to, to Python 3.7. A lot of outdated uh, dependency uh, right now. So for me, I tried to, to install on my uh, laptop, but it took me I think one day or so in order to make it working on my, but it, it doesn't mean that it will take a, a one day for everyone. Uh, at the moment, we do not support uh, iOS uh, um, uh, phone. We only have Android, but uh, it, we also hope that we'll be able to have it on iOS. We already started to work on this, but at one point, we, the, we realized that it's really tricky because Apple really tried to restrict uh, the device that can connect it to, to their phone. Uh, and uh, at the moment, we have uh, many people from, from Japan and also uh, from India, from Germany. We got actually a lot of order in, in Germany uh, that uh, tested if I, we did not have so good review. The people said that, okay, so it's not, uh, there's something that's not working, but compared to a four, this is 55 euro and compared to something like 400 or, some, or something, it's a lot, would a lot of work. So this is not the best device, but we try whatever we can. So if you make any experiment and, and you have any uh, uh, knowledge, we'd, we'd really appreciate if you can share your videos or, or document online with us and uh, have to conduct a workshop with Pocket Sign Lab. Uh, we distribute this um, right now. In, uh, in, in Germany, if you go to the Pocket Sign Lab, talk, I.O., you can order anywhere in Europe and Singapore. We also have uh, a distribution partner in Japan, which is the uh, Swiss Science. And, and in China, we sell with uh, SIS uh, Studio and Taobao. So we are available almost uh, many major places. The, the board right now doesn't come with a casing, but the casing can be uh, Print out easily with um, the three D printer or laser cutter, and mm. the design, the schematic of the um, of the casing also available online. If you if just if you just want to to make the casing yourself, uh, and we also talked to one partner in China to convince them that they can bring the, the casing. They don't produce the board because for a lot of um, producer at, in China, this is already like too cheap for them. So if they do it again, the same thing, even though everything open, if you want to produce, you can also do it yourself, but it's the price, they don't see a profit into doing this. Yeah. Um, so we have a few lab at the Force Asia stand on K building. If you're interested to get one of those, uh, as I mentioned already, these are our distribution channels, and we're talking with um, our friend in Russia, uh, Vietnam, uh, India, and Thailand. So we also want to distribute them in these uh, different places. So the trends about it, we have a good network of people everywhere, and who want to support us to root this out to. Um, to the market. Uh, I forgot to mention if uh, the chip on this device is the uh, microchip big 24 and a lot of people came to our booth and said okay so this is not open. <laughs> the reason the project started about uh, three years ago at that time this was the only uh, option available for us and the person who started the project only chose this to work on. Now if we want to change it again, have to work on different uh, components, it's more tricky for us. But for the next version, we hope to, we talk with M and, and have to be able to, to use the open chip um, instead. Uh, it's also already come with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth mod module, but it's not yet sold out. Uh, the reason why it's not there yet, some of the distributors, they do not agree to have something with the Wi-Fi model already. So if you want it, you can solder it yourself at home. OK, and uh, this is the end of my presentation. In, um, in March, there will be a gathering of Force Asia uh, contributors from everywhere. We also have a lot of visitors coming from Europe. We have one event similar to, to Force Down, but it happened in Singapore. Uh, March 14 to 17 will be our 10th anniversary. If you happen to be there or if you want to come and connect with the uh, Asian community, please join us. Um, all the information can uh, be found under bslab.io. 
um, we are on a uh, clean in uh, github and you can easily find it any, uh, anywhere um, that's it and I'm sorry because of my accent maybe uh, it's uh, people find difficulty to understand me but I only try to to speak uh, as clearly I, I can thank you very much for, for your attention <laughs>